From modern churches to a modern method of fishing, and these men can tell a fishing yarn taller than the most imaginative bar parlor angler. But unlike most angler stories, this one's true. A trout has every right to be surprised when it lunches off a favorite fly and finds that it conceals a hook. But by this method, they're not only surprised, they're shocked. For this apparatus gives off an electric current strong enough to stun any fish in the immediate vicinity. But don't worry, as you'll see, there's no real damage done. Seen here on the River Wizzy in Norfolk, this form of electric fishing is used by the Chief Fisheries Officer, Norman Mackenzie, when separating coarse fish from trout. It's more efficient and less damaging to the fish than netting. The fish are stunned for a short period, but recover in a matter of minutes. The coarse fish, no offence intended, are removed to other rivers, while the trout are left in sole possession to eat, grow fat, and make the river an angler's paradise. By using this method, a 200-yard stretch can be fished in about half an hour, yielding anything up to 2,000 fish. A stop net is placed across the river, 200 yards downstream, and the boat is handled by one helper on each bank. In this case, the helpers are Bailiff O'Toole and the owner of the estate, Lord Amherst. The machine generates 250 volts, is driven by a twin-cylinder engine. In a period of nine months, the machine has stunned 92,000 fish, which is quite a healthy turnover, whichever way you look at it. This mild form of electrocution has no permanent effect and is probably the most humane method of dealing with restocking problems. Those fish which fail to surface are caught at the stop net and duly sorted. Mmm, a very fishy story indeed. And we leave you with an equally fishy problem. Whose fuses blow first when you run foul of an electric eel? Hmm?